Boys and girls, welcome to Pajama Prayers. It's really nice to have you with me tonight. I look forward all week to spending time with you. So thank you for being here with me. We have a great show planned, and we're going to begin with a nice fun game of hidden pictures. Are you ready? Good luck to you. Can you find what's hidden in this picture? Do you see a hockey stick? Where is the spaceship? Do you see a flag? Can you find a boot? Now find a snail shell. Can you find the ice cream cone? What about a pennant? Can you find the carrot? What about a seashell? Where is the tube of toothpaste? Do you see an artist brush? Where are the scissors? Do you see a teacup? Can you find 
find a heart? What about a ruler? Do you see a bow tie? What about a sailboat? Can you find a crayon? Can you find the fish? Do you see a bell? Have you ever been on a picnic with your friends or family and had it start to rain and you had to scurry around to keep everything dry and get it covered up? That looks like what the bears had to do for their picnic. But you know what? The rain is good. And especially you'll find that it's good in the story that we're going to have tonight because it needs rain to make the mustard seed grow. The name of our story is The Marvelous Mustard Seed. The Marvelous Mustard Seed A child plants a mustard seed in an empty garden. It is an itty-bitty seed. It isn't anything very special. Yet. Mustard seeds are so small that you have to look hard to see them. You have to look so hard to see them that you need to get really, really close. There's not much to be done with a single teeny weeny seed. You can't eat it or wear it. You can't take it for walks. Or cuddle with it. You can't write with it. And you can't blow bubbles with it. The only thing you can do is plant it in the soil. Then the rain falls and the sun shines and things begin to happen in the earth. But no matter how hard you look or how close you get, you can't see the tiny seed. The seed is hidden down with the moles, down, down with the ants, down, down, down with the earthworms. Then it happens. In the place of the little bitty seed, up comes a shoot. Up, up, comes a sprout. Up, up, 
up, up, up, comes a bush. But it doesn't stop there. It grows, and it grows, and it grows. Until it becomes a humongous tree. Birds make their nest there. And the neighbors exclaim, A mustard tree! Amazing! Surprising! Unbelievable! Acorns grow into big oak trees. Cedars have trunks that you can't fit your arms around. Mustard plants are just ordinary bushes. But not this one. This one is a mustard tree. You don't have to look very hard or get really close to see it. It's right in front of you. Some people touch it just to make sure it's real. And others sit under its branches. They take the pods from the tree and remove the seeds and make spices. They take the mustard leaves and the seed and make medicine. The spices and the medicine are there for everyone. The kingdom of God is like a mustard seed in the garden, right outside our windows, growing from itsy bitsy teensy weensy to colossal. From impossible to see to unable to miss. The tree is so gigantic, it's a wonder. And it is not at all what we expect to find. And yet, there it is surprising us, helping us to imagine what can be. But isn't. Our scripture verse for tonight is found in the book of Matthew, chapter 17, and verse 20. And it tells us that with God, all things are possible. We just need faith to believe. There is nothing that God cannot do. Well, I'm sorry to say, but we have reached the end of our show. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you'll join us again next Saturday night at 7 o'clock for another great story and a great puzzle and a great scripture verse. Until then, turn to someone there with you and say, You are worth more than you know, capable of more than you think, and loved more than you can imagine. Good night. Mm-hmm.